Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here today talking about this topic, uh, auto-scaling Nankin on OpenStack Cloud Platform. Um, if you don't know what Nankin is, so Nankin is a great framework for continued integration, delivery, or deployment, or even just an automated task. Uh, you can write your pipeline, just decry your task, and um, you can do exactly what you write in the pipeline. Um, in this in this presentation, I don't talk about how to write a pipeline, um, but about how to build Zenkin system, focus on how to do auto scaling Zenkin on OpenStack Cloud. Mm, but first, um, let me introduce you a little bit about ourselves. I'm Chien and my colleague Kong. Uh, we are both cloud engineer at Viettel Group, um, the biggest telco in Vietnam. Here is the agenda of my presentation. Um, firstly, before before we go to the main part of this topic. We will take a look at the system that we built, and then uh, I will explain some Nankin auto scaling mechanism that we use. And finally, um, I will show you some configuration in Nankin uh, that I just and uh, I will I, I will give you guys some tips. Um, in the old days, um, my boss asked we, that we should build a um, Dunkin' system that must be highly available, scalable on demand. Uh, if software project you different programming languages, uh, not must be to, should be installed in Dunkin'. And here are the, uh, the loops of complete Dunkin' system Yes, uh, we build um, that's meet um, um, those, those requirements. Uh, here we have to thank uh, matter running in uh, active passive modes um, that receive job and distributed them to select just follow the matter. Uh, here we have uh, keep alive process. Uh, running in each matter that make two set, um, that make the two matters say um, a virtual IP and um, keep alive also uh, make two matter um, say an open stack volume um, by using a script that detaches and attaches the volume uh, to keep the volume away attached to uh, a healthy node. Um, okay, uh, so keep alive and open stack volume. Uh, we have a system meet the first requirement. Let's see, uh, that's where a high availability. So the second is um, scaling on demand. Uh, why we need this? Um, the answer is with a fixed with a fixed number of slaves in the system. system. Um, it it is a waste of comp computing resources um, in the low demand of user. Um, in contrast, with the high demand, more and more new job receive. Um, it cannot quickly it cannot quickly adapt to all of them. To uh, handle this situation, system engineer must manually prepare server and join the join the King cluster at a slave to uh, increase more compute resource. Uh, or, or they can find a solution that can automatically the owner of this, such as um, provision a server, uh, joining a clutter, evoking them on, uh, on low demand. So to take advantage of uh, OpenStack Cloud, we choose OpenStack Cloud plugin for Zenkin to uh, 
interact with cloud to uh, automatically uh, do everything I just tell you. Uh, and the last requirement, and the last requirement is um, is flexibility. Um, you may not install any build tool of any programming language um, in all Jenkins Slurf. All you do is when you write Jenkins Pilot, um, let's put your course into a container. Um, that's the that's container has um, your build tool installed and uh, run your builds, the general view. Okay, this is uh, an overview of Jenkins Clutter um, that's review. Uh, next in the part, in the main part of this presentation, I will talk about how to uh, do auto scaling Jenkins in detail. Um, for this, let, um, let, me see, let us see uh, what Jenkins offer to, uh, to us. Um, <clears throat> Jenkins had a um, pre periodically uh, job, periodically job uh, to check loss in the cluster after evaluating some metric and evaluate them. Um, Jenkins will call cloud plugin to provision a new virtual machine and uh, all remaining works will be left to cloud plugin to um, join us at a Jenkins lab. Um, Jenkins also has, um, has a job that um, periodically checks the slave state and permits the cloud plugin to decide whether or not to revert a slave. So um, then can um, hear the OpenStack Cloud plugin. This is a an Jenkins extension plugin for OpenStack Cloud. Um, just allow Jenkins Master to uh, uh, interact with OpenStack Cloud to uh, auto spawn and destroy Jenkins left virtual machine when cluster loss um, with chain. Uh, here we have an example um, when Dunkin and OpenStack Cloud plugin working together to spawn to new nodes and die Dunkin Clutter later. <clears throat> Next, uh, I will show you a weak configuration um, we can make to OpenStack Cloud plugin. Uh, here we have um, config cloud. Um, absolutely, uh, you must um, specify where either um, OpenStack uh, API that's cloud plugin will talk to. Uh, you must provide. You must provide an uh, a credential to uh, talk with uh, OpenStack. The next thing we want to do is define uh, a template for provisioning a new virtual machine, uh, includes, including a bootstrap script running when um, virtual machine um, is booting. Uh, yes, you have um, the virtual, virtual machine join the Zenki cluster at a slave. Here we have um, the hardware. Um, this this define the size left. Um, you can choose uh, an available flavor that's uh, OpenStack offer. 
um, you must to a network, yes, can connect to the matter. Next, uh, next thing is the user, user data. Um, the most, this is the most important configuration you must do. Um, you upload a booting script that will run um, when VM is booted. Next thing is the uh, Mac number of Eastern. Um, the cloud plugin will uh, no longer sp spawn another slave if number of slave, which is number uh, is by of high loss. Next configuration is uh, minimum number of Eastern. Uh, the cloud plugin will ensure that Yankee cluster have at least this number of slaves. Here we have some um, select option. Um, we can uh, specify how many uh, executor in each slave. Uh, retention time. Um, if, uh, if the slave free for this time, the cloud plugin will call OpenStack to destroy uh, this um, virtual machine. You can specify what kind of connection type um, the slave and matter will uh, will connect will connect. Uh, here we do uh, the NLP connection. Um, here, here the bootstrap script, bootstrap script uh, will run uh, when uh, the virtual machine is boosted. Um, let, as you can see, we uh, the script will uh, uh, generate a Docker compile file that uh, defines service. The file service that run a slave. Um, the, the the secret information um, will be uh, injected to um, injected to this service via uh, the uh, envir environment variable. Here we have um, uh, here we have the command. Um, that's run when the container is up. This command will co con um, will connect to uh, uh, the mat connect the matter connect to the matter at a slave. And <clears throat> and finally, we have some tip for you when using plugin. Um, to prevent no space left on device error, uh, you can use um, preventive most not 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 um, you can use uh, uh, preventive nose monitoring feature. Um, the low you can do uh, um, the free space threshold either uh, thirty uh, gigabytes. The low the low free dig slab will be out, will be automatically disabled or removed. Uh, you can use raw raw VM image for select VM to uh, speed up VM creation staff. So that's it. That's uh, it all we talk about in this presentation. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any question or any idea, feel uh, free to ping us. Thank you.